If you don't know this story about BYU wide receiver Cody Epps, Cody announced over the weekend he was jumping in the transfer portal. And immediately people were like, God damn it, yes, he's seen huge um, bags of money. Well, I mean, it turns out that's not really what happened. And this afternoon, Cody Epps announced that, in fact, he was coming back to BYU <laughs> and leaving the transfer portal. And it depends on who you believe, but there are all kinds of wild theories in... As the portal but turns. Again, and I know that we don't have sources on this show. Sources. We don't. But remember what we told you about Cody Epps. This was not a, oh, the Mormons suck and I'm a freaking honor code. Yeah, where's Buddy that gave us a phone call? I want sex for days. Like, that's not what happened. Cody Epps is a good kid. He's yeah. a good dude. Yeah. Talented player. Yep. Who, I, who I've been told by multiple sources got bad advice. Yeah. And really was looking at it and was a kid that was in the portal. And I think everybody wants to be wanted. And I think he was, I think he was being told, hey, we're going to make you a multi-gazillionaire if we put your name in the portal, bro. Pack your shit. Let's go. Right? And then that doesn't that doesn't necessarily materialize. Come on, let's go, Schlepprock. And now all of a sudden, you're like, well, you know what? I got to admit, if I look down, the grass is pretty green here in Provo, and that royal blue looks good next to the green. Y'all feel me? Because Cody is going to get paid. Yeah. I mean, the kid is a stud. Cody Epps is a stud. Yeah. Now, I wish he'd come on the show. I've texted him multiple times. He will not. I wish he'd come on the show. The program. The program. Program. I think the transfer portal has done more harm than good. Okay. And I'll go to the flip side of Cody Epps. I think if you look at Keaton Slovis, mm. I think Keaton Slovis is an average football player. I think Keaton Slovis had his shot at USC, didn't make it. Right. Transfer portal. He had a shot at Pitt, didn't make it. Transfer portal. And now he's going to get a shot at BYU. He's the starting quarterback. Right. And he's going to get his ass handed to him early in the Big 12 for, for BYU. Right. Does he fill a role? Oh, yeah. He fills a role. He fills a role. But his last name's not Fennigan, and it should be, because that's who should be the starting quarterback at BYU. But what's the role that Keaton Slovis is going to fill? He's going to be the whipping boy early in the Big 12 life. And so I don't have a problem with that. And I say this because the transfer portal works two ways. It's great for the kid that's going to go get a huge NIL deal. It's great for Travis Hunter, and he wants to go to Jackson State with Coach Prime, and then he wants to go to Colorado, and it's great for Shador Sanders, and it's great to turn over 80 players. And, hey, the transfer portal absolutely works for the player, and it works for the school. But I give Cody Epps a lot of credit. Because it's not easy. I guarantee you there will be ball breaking in the BYU football locker room over Cody Epps. Yeah. And I guarantee you there were some people, I, I, don't, I don't even, this is not even, you know, like a secret. But I'm telling you now that there were some gum noshing in, in Provo. Cody Epps was a huge loss for this football team. Yeah. And from what I understand, and I could be wrong because, again, Cody hasn't answered me. But my belief is that Cody Epps is going to make a pretty good piece of change this year. Yeah. And I think that there are some NIL deals at the BYU level. By the way, has anybody seen the Royal Collective? Because I haven't seen them. Yeah, anywhere. I'm not sure where they're at, dude. I'd love to understand Saint that. Seen Connect everywhere. But that's my point. That's my point. This transfer portal NIL thing. If you're a BYU fan and you are not supporting Coog Connect, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. They're $10 a month. It's a great cause. CoogConnect.com. The money goes right to players. Like, that's what NIL should be about. But who's NIL really about? All of us. It's all the football fans. Because if we don't make the world go round, nobody's making money. Right. You know, you see Zach Wilson, you know, at Big O Tires in American Fork, right, with his Porsche, and you see Kingsley Suamataia, and, mm -hmm. and why is that? Because Big O Tires in American Fork supports BYU football, BYU football, like, it's... It, it makes works the, together. It makes the world go round. Yeah. But these situations with kids like Cody Epps, and I'd love to know the exact story about what happened. Well, and I think the problem is with the portal specifically, because I think there's a real conversation in what's, what's the chicken and what's the egg. Is NIL the chicken or the egg? Because you can make well, a pretty strong case 
that if NIL didn't exist, the portal wouldn't be a problem, right? Like the portal, you'd still have kids using the portal, of course, but you wouldn't have the Cody Epps situation because he was real happy at BYU and then, you know, allegedly gets this bad advice or whatever. And, you know, again, there's like we were saying, there's a lot that there's a lot of rumor mill out there about it, but essentially it's like, Hey, he got some bad advice and basically maybe pastures were greener on the other side of the fence. Hey, let's go check this out. And then it didn't work out. And it's like, okay, well, how many kids does that actually happen to versus how many kids now that NIL is a thing are getting like five bucks, 10 bucks, like aren't really making any money on it because all that money is going to one kid. And that's where I think you start getting into the negative side of NIL. Like NIL is great. I love it for, for like, like he said, the big O tires and American fork BYU situation is awesome. These guys are getting their cars taken care of, which is frankly is really important in the off season for them. They do a lot of traveling around the state in the off season. But then you look at you look at some of these other kids who work their ass off just the same as the stars, but aren't as talented. And it's like, how do you find that balance? And and that's where I feel like situations happen because it's like, all right, where can I go? I know that I'm not an, an NFL player, let's say, right? I know I'm not going to get to the next level. Well, let's use the portal to get to the perfect situation so I can make the most money possible. Not let's use the portal to get to the perfect situation so I can maximize my career while I still have one. And yeah. that's where I think it's just a really dynamic and interesting conversation. Yeah, I, I, I have no doubt about that. And I, I think there's a lot going on at BYU. I mean, guys have, that have transferred have personally told me like, hey, look, I don't want to go through the pounding in the Big 12. Because it is going to be a long climb up the hill in the Big 12. And yeah. I, I think they know that. Mm -hmm. And I just, I'm glad Cody Epps stayed because I just am not, a, until I see Keaton Slovis do it. And Keaton's a good kid by all accounts. It's not personal, it's football, man. I watched almost every one of that kid's games at USC. And if you're not going to succeed with that group of talent at USC, I don't know how you're going to succeed with this group of talent going into the Big 12. Yeah. Like, I mean, you legit, on, on, his, on his USC teams, my guess is you had 40 really good football players. You probably were three deep on the offense. Um, I, I don't know that you are going to be that for, for how long. Yeah. Like, I think it is going to be a very long climb. Well, and I think for Keaton Slovis, dude, I think the concept, uh, like I, a lot of people have talked about with the portal, like, Hey, the portal, a lot of times is for kids who quit, right? Like it's, it's noodle arm quarterback at Utah quitting. Hey, I got beat out. So I'm going to jump in the portal. And I think, you know, it's just, it's unfortunate because it's a great thing and it's a bad thing. And I think, I think for prime, it's a great thing, right? Like you got to roll your program over. Like you're, you roll in and your first speech is about Louie bags and go ahead and jump in the portal, literally telling kids that, okay, fine. That's cool. That's fine. But I just think that like for a school like BYU heading into the big 12, the portal's essential to your success. You Absolutely. have to, you got to go and find it. And then I think like for a program like BYU and this applies to Utah as well, uh, all you Utah fans, Dude, Kyle Whittingham needs to embrace NIL 100%. And I know he's come around a little bit. I've heard him talk about it a bit. Like, he's coming around. Um, but I just think you see the programs who fully embrace NIL and the portal. It's kind of like A plus B equals C. Those are the programs that are doing really, really well. Not just financially, but on the field as well because they're getting the best talent. And I think for BYU heading into the Big 12, it's essential that you use the portal to the best of your abilities. Cause I gotta think, you know, you talk about the pounding in the big 12, yeah. dude, would anyone be surprised if Keaton Slovis, Slovis only made it like eight, nine weeks because of injury, dude, I would not be surprised by that, you know? So that's why I say like, you just, you have to be prepared because not every school is USC right now with 50 players who could start. Like that's not, that's not every program. Dude, looking at the receivers, 2019 at USC. Holy cow. Uh, Michael Pittman, Amon Ra St. Brown, St. Brown, Tyler Vaughn, Drake London. Drake London as a youngster. Oh my God. That, that I forgot how much talent they had there. Oh my God. That like, yeah, I, if you can't listen, dude, if you can't win on that team, and he actually, you know what? He actually pl played pretty well. Um, 
Yeah, wow. The 2019 yeah. USC football roster, holy cow, dude. Yeah. And you look at tw- you look at 2020 and you start oh my god. You start looking at the like the 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 passing numbers Keaton Slovis se- uh seven interceptions, 17 touchdowns, seven interceptions, 1900 yards in six games. Right? And obviously you're talking about COVID and but you look at you look at the receiving numbers Drake London, 33 catches, three touchdowns, 65 yards. He averaged 85 yards a game. Amon Ross St. Brown had 41 catches. Tyler Vaughn's had 33. Like, they had crazy talent. Ain't ducking, no smoke. They had crazy talent on those teams. Yeah. And then they just got exponentially better. Like, looking at this website, Pac-12 website. Oh, my God. Dude, it's going to be crazy when that's a Big Ten logo. That's, That's I, gonna I be mean, wild, bro. Oh my God. Yeah, I worry about Keaton Slovis. Like, because they had, dude. That's what I'm saying, dude. I don't think he's going to make it the whole year. I just can't see him. I can't see that. I got to think you're going to need two, three quarterbacks this year. Yeah. And the numbers, oh my God. Drake London, 88 catches. Taj Washington, Gary Bryant, Kyle Ford. Like, they had some, dude, on a really crappy 2021 USC football team. Yeah. He just, yeah, anyway. I'm just telling you. I am just telling you. Keaton Slovis couldn't do it. Couldn't stay healthy. Couldn't throw under pressure. Then went to pit and could not be, a, could not complete passes at a high level. Yeah. I'm terrified by that. I, I am <coughs> terrified by that. <coughs> uh, like, oh my God. I don't know. It, yeah. Uh, Tanner says, salty drunk often. Do you want them to talk about the NBA playoffs? Oh, are you upset we're talking college football again? Salty says, no offense, but the NBA playoffs are on and the show is still flooded with college football talk. It annoys me if I'm honest. Well, I, but you have to understand, like here in America, we're a national show in college football and the college football, you know, like the Pac-12 TV deal, like that's a, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. And we will get to... And the basketball's not on yet. What are you talking about, dude? Yeah, the game does not, not start until 6, I think, tonight. Yeah. There's only one game tonight. And by the way, it's not even 5 o'clock yet. Yeah, it's all good. I mean, I love you, bro. I'm just saying, like... Damian Gar- uh, Damian Garbero says, total LDS membership in Mexico, 1.498 million. Yeah, dude. dude. <coughs> it's a lot. Uh, the Momo Preacher. Monty, you have sinned, and I'm here to set you straight. Well, okay. in God's name, image, and likeness. Okay. You guys, are we really arguing over USC talent? Are, are you serious right now? You guys are arguing whether or not USC had talent around Keaton Slovis. I just told you they did. Yeah, Drake London sucks. Are you serious? Come on, man. Like, do I even delve into this? No. This will lead to bad things. Yeah, no. Uh, Tanner says, Monty, you did say that the possible reason why Cody went into the portal was because he didn't want to be part of a team that could struggle during the first year in the Big 12. And I think the biggest issue there is, is that a guy like Cody Epps knows that he needs to be on SportsCenter. He needs, because you're at BYU, man, like it's going to be tough. You look at the year that Puka Nakua had, did, was he like a, a the first receiver off the board? Or no. It's tough to be a wide receiver at BYU and get national recognition. And I think that, Frankly, I, the story that I more believe is that Cody Epps got bad advice. Yeah. That's the story I more believe. But, you know, yeah. Tanner says, I haven't seen any reports supporting that theory. Then you are not either looking or you're not talking to the right people. I have talked to. That's like five or six people. I at mean, least. You, look at, you look at Peely. You look at all the guys that have transferred. They didn't transfer to like nowhere state, Wachahatchee, New Mexico. No, I think he's talking about, I think he's talking about, uh, the bad advice thing? The what? The bad advice thing that we're talking about. Oh, I think well, that's what he's referencing. I don't know that there's a story out there about why Cody Epps actually transferred. Yeah. Or tried to transfer. He's not transferring. You know, like it's just, yeah. I don't, you know. Uh, Kurt Meyer says, skip football at 50. Why? Uh, for me, basketball season ended in March in Houston, Bill Foley says. I'm a oh, huge I mean, NBA the, fan. Yeah, the NBA playoffs are elite, dude. And I think that... Salty's an NBA guy. I mean, and that's cool. Yeah. You know, 
Salty Drunk says, Jake, it's the offseason in college football if you want to play that card. There is no offseason. There is no. See, this is the thing, Salty. And again, I, I, I don't want you to take personally or get all mad at me. You got to understand this concept, man. Like, And again, I'm not a uh, football is not my number one no, and not close not to close it. Not close to not it. Not even close to it. I, I am baseball, then basketball, then football. But as far as the showroom is concerned, football is number one. And, and, and I'm not saying we're not going to talk basketball. We're going to talk basketball in 10 minutes. Right. And then we have a big interview at 530. So you're going to get your basketball. I'm just telling you, man, football like the NFL is in the offseason. College football doesn't have an offseason, especially when realignment and TV deals are happening. Yeah, totally. Uh, Mike M. Transfer portal and NIL commercialized college football to such a degree. The connection to schools feels a bit gutted and more like rooting for an NFL team. You're not yeah, wrong. I don't disagree with that at all, bro. You're not wrong. Yeah. I agree with that. Um, Richard Tracy. Grand Canyon University equals no conference will invite a for-profit school to join. I got news for you. Uh, every college is for-profit. Yeah. And if you don't know, Richard, and I don't know what you know or not, Grand Canyon University is, um, without question, one of the most attractive schools in the country. And I would not be surprised. Somebody a couple of weeks ago said WCC. I don't know if that's the case. Grand Canyon is a Catholic institution. So it would not surprise me, but I, you're, you're, you know, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I totally disagree with that. You know, they're in the whack already. So yeah, Gary football plays, uh, pays the bills. Basketball is a nice byproduct. Uh, Dur he, I love you guys stick to different sports news that are most important at the moment. Appreciate that. Well, and again, <clears throat> the, the point still remains though, that the NBA playoffs are one of the most important things we're going to talk about. And I have a lot to say about that, you know, debacle last night for the Golden State Warriors. But again, it's not that time yet. You mean that dominant performance by Anthony Davis? It's embarrassing, dude. So how many nights in a row are we going to go with you slandering guys who turn around and stick it up your keys? Stay hard! Sorry. Wait. I thought you said, how many nights in a row are we going to go about talking about guys sticking it up your keys? <laughs> no, that's not what I said. It's not what I said. <laughs> I said, I'm always right and you're always wrong. How many nights is that going to happen? Oh, got it, got it. I, I don't know. I lost count now. Yeah, I lost count. Sorry. Every time you slander a guy. So I'm hoping you, like, all season next year, just slander <coughs> the Bulls every day. Because uh, it seems like every time you slander a guy, you know, you said James Harden was fat. But you didn't well, explain that fat. it was P-H-A-T fat. 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 Well, and I don't have the fat drop labeled P-H-A-T. I've got it labeled F-A-T. So. Right, because fat. Zion's fat. actually a fat ass. Yeah, well, Zion captained the first team all fat ass at the All-Star break, and James Harden you know, jumped on it, dude. I'm just telling you, yeah. every time you slander James Harden or Anthony Davis, anybody notice the Lakers are actually, you know, playing defense? Yeah. You know. Uh, Cam videos. Cam's videos. Why listen to these clowns? Oh, one of mean, these guys today. You don't have to. Yeah, dude. You know, you don't have to. But I. But here's the thing. Really appreciate you watching and commenting and letting the know, letting the algorithm know you like our show. I appreciate that. Thank you. And the comment helps. Uh, let's you. segue into Lawaska and the Jets loser at the Knicks fix last night. Wow, dude. 